Well hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Lyndon. It's such a pleasure to have you here and thank you very much for coming. In this video I want to explore a really really cool improvisational idea that we can use in any key but the key that I'm going to be doing it in for the purposes of this video is C major for alto saxophone and it's such a simple idea but it sounds absolutely fantastic and I want to share it with you. Um, so just before we dive into that I want to let you know that, that I haven't been posting up to YouTube at quite the same rate that I was and that's not because anything was wrong or I'd gone away, I've just been absolutely working like crazy to prepare some stuff for a website that I'm building that's gonna have lots more tutorials on it and I'll tell you more about that in another video. Um, so uh, I am around and I'm working hard. I'm doing 12, 15 hour days every single day. So let's look at this idea and um, let's have a look at the scale of C major. And the scale of C major is C, and D and E and F, G, A, B and C. And we could go up to the D as well, which is a really nice thing to do because that's a chord tone. And the chord tones are C, B, G and D. And this guy's gonna have the octave key and that's the first, that's the root and the third and the fifth and the seventh and the ninth and all of these chord tones are going to sound so 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 lovely. Now if you're not sure about chord tones then have a look at one of my other tutorials that talks about chords for sax players. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but the root and the third and the fifth and the seventh are going to always, always, without exception, sound gorgeous when you're improvising. Um, this confused me for years and years and years when I was starting to learn the sax. Why does everybody keep going on about chords? Hello, I can't play a chord on a saxophone because I've only got one note at a time. So why does everybody keep going on about chords? So, uh, and this is the reason why. I didn't get it for a long time, but now I get it and it's like the heavens have opened. Um, so I've got a backing track here. I'm using my favorite apps to practice with, which is Session Band. They're not paying me by the way, I just really like them. Uh, and this is Soul Jazz Funk Volume 2, uh, Kirk Whalem. I've got it on Hip Hop Funk 2, because as you can see, I'm a hip hop kind of guy. Uh, I'm, I'm not really, but I really like this backing track. It sounds great. And then I've gone into settings and I have muted off very rudely Kirk Whalem's soprano saxophone how rude is that but you know I can't compete so uh, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, play seven seven five three seven five three and I'm gonna get used to doing that first so let's have a listen to how that sounds Two. One, two, three. Do that again. Now already that sounds really, really, really nice. And I would have put the letter names in the, just in the title below. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw B, G and E around a bit so you can see how nice it sounds. Just to be super specific, I'm not using any other notes other than B, G and E, which is the 7, 5 and 3. Uh, I'm not going to put it in the description below because uh, it's going to be going a little bit faster and it wouldn't make any visual sense if I wrote it down. But have a listen to how nice it sounds because it does sound really nice if I throw that idea around around. Three notes. 
doesn't it sound lovely? But it's the right three notes, it's the chord tones, that's why it sounds so good. So learn the chord tones, get used to playing the seventh and the fifth and the third, whatever key you're in, it's going to always, always, always sound nice. <clears throat> and then let me show you another really cool exercise that I did, I was teaching in a workshop in Wavenden in, in England, which is a really, really lovely place. And people really enjoyed doing this in this workshop. I'm going to go seven, seven, five, three, four, five, six, seven, five, three, four, five, six. Sounds lovely. Sounds so nice. <laughs> sound gorgeous right you should do that loads and this way you're practicing the chord tones you're practicing the scale I can't see a possible downside so if we have a look at this idea of going from the seven and the fifth and the third what we could do is we could just shift everything up and we could go nine seven and five and that also would sound absolutely delicious in terms of improvising so let's have a listen to that I'm just gonna go nine seven and five And then if I throw those notes, if I get really comfortable moving around those notes and I throw them around a little bit, that's going to sound gorgeous too. And again, that was just three notes, but it was the right three notes, <clears throat> the ninth, the seventh, and the fifth. It always sounds nice. Then I could do exactly the same thing. I could go D, B, G, or nine, seven, five, six, seven, eight. And that will sound, no prizes for guessing, you see a bit of a theme here, that's gonna sound really, really nice. Have a listen. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I've got two ideas. I've got one idea that goes seven, five, three, four, five, six, seven, five, three, four, five, six, and another idea which is the same structure but just moved up the scale nine, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, five, six, seven, eight. If I put those two together, it's just going to sound absolutely beautiful. It won't sound like a scale or anything like that. It will just sound gorgeous. Have a listen. It sounds really, really nice. And at the moment, I'm not kind of throwing it around, but if I was to throw that around just a little bit, if I practiced this loads and my fingers were completely happy to do this, I don't have to think about it anymore because I've spent 20 minutes just repeating and repeating and repeating a few times in a week. And then at the end of the week, your fingers will feel so comfortable doing this. You don't have to think about it. You can just get into this gorgeous flow state and just be a little bit more relaxed and listen to how lovely Lovely it sounds then. Sounds absolutely 
absolutely beautiful. It's just so, so lovely. It's such a lovely, simple idea. So you can do this again in any key, and I really recommend that you do this in all keys. Get your scale down, get your chord tones down, and throw them around. It just sounds absolutely beautiful. It's just never not gonna work. I hope that was useful to you. Um, if you do feel like uh, supporting these videos by buying a coffee, that's amazing. Your positive comments have a huge impact on me and my family. Your uh, thoughts about videos that I should make are also super useful. Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.